Holly lovers and welcome back to my channel. I know it's been a while since my last video, but you guys know that I started a new job, so I just wanted to come on and update you guys on how everything is going. First of all, it is Friday, August 3rd. Um, hopefully this video goes up sometime this week. Um, and let's see. A lot has happened. A lot of good things have happened. So I started my new job July 19th. And then shortly after I went on vacation from the 26th to the 30th. I went on vacation to my usual MechaCon convention. Me and my fiance go every year. This is our fourth time. I don't know if you guys were around, but MechaCon is really special even more so now because it's when my fiance had proposed to me. So we made our second year anniversary being an engaged couple. I know there are no wedding plans that are set in stone just yet, but we are just enjoying each other, enjoying our engagement period. Um, growing closer together and getting some other things straight before we think about investing in a wedding. So, um, every relationship is different, of course, and I love mine. We love each other a lot. We had lots of fun on our vacation. Uh, it was time for us to spend together and away from all the hustle and bustle of everyday life. Even though things have been going really great for me as far as work goes and I'm really happy about that um I went back to work this Tuesday and everything's going good I'm learning a lot of new things like it's a whole different process from the job I was previously at before I was doing direct mail marketing stuff designing coupons that are usually um sent out in postal mail whereas this is completely different I'm now designing stuff uh, for textiles for like clothing production and bath towels and baby blanket sets and things of that nature so it's a whole lot more to learn than just being able to draw pretty pictures and make art on the computer I had to learn a lot more about the production process different fabrics like the difference between interlock and knit terry fabric um a pleak applique um i know people pronounce that word differently i always said a pleak but apparently i'm pronouncing it incorrectly but applique embroidery different processes for that it's a lot to learn but i love it especially because I wanted to start making my own doll clothes at some point. You guys know I'm going on like the second year of owning a sewing machine and I've only really made one reborn doll item. But I really do hope to get more use out of it because I want to get into other things too like making my own cosplays and stuff like that so i have a long way to go and a lot of my <laughs> different hobbies and goals and stuff but i feel to believe this job is definitely going to expand my knowledge and help me creative wise and i'm going to learn a lot so i'm really excited they're really excited to have me and they're really patient and teaching me everything and I love how I pretty much went around the circle learning a lesson from each team member uh, in the past few days. So they just kind of bounced me around like a volleyball. <laughs> and I get to learn something new with each team member. So I'm loving it so far and it's great. Uh, earlier this week. Matter of fact, yesterday, I got to take baby Trevor and Topanga to work with me. Um, they have several baby displays set up around the office on different levels of the building. They have, like, crib displays, displaying crib products. They have different shelves for bath products. And they have three 
three cribs in total and I recently got to help uh, redesign the crib setups with the new products and I propose that it would look really cool if there was a child representation in the crib especially since soon there's going to be a big um board meeting coming up and of course uh the members of the board are going to be looking around and checking everything out so I thought it would be really cool <laughs> to have a lifelike baby in one of those cribs so they were all for the idea so yesterday I brought Topanga and Trevor to work with me and they met everybody and I got well I would say only one not really negative but one person to say that they thought the reborns were creepy <laughs> but everybody else completely loved them they loved cuddling and holding them it was so amazing to see like their baby instincts kick in when you automatically pick up a baby start patting the booty and it was just hilarious I really wish I could have gotten it on camera but I'm really not sure if I can film anything in there because there's all kinds of policies and, and rules and stuff um, about trade secrets and all kinds of stuff like that so I'm not sure if I'll be able to get any video but if the babies make it to the crib hopefully I'll be able to get some pictures because I'd really like you guys to see pictures of the babies all set up the merchandise they uh, help produce is really really awesome really cute um, I love to see my baby set up <laughs> in those crib displays. So, I am keeping my fingers crossed that I can make that happen sometime this week. Uh, and if so, I'll probably be posting the pictures on my Instagram. So, be sure to be following me on Instagram. I will put my name in this video. And it's also down below in the description box. So that's what's going on. That's what's been taking up most of my time. I wanted to seriously dedicate all of my energy to this job and being perceptive to learning new stuff and committing it to memory. So that's why um, I've been slacking on making the videos. But hopefully I once everything smooths out and I get into a routine that I can get back to making my videos as well. Um, I know in the last video, when I was th going through my kawaii haul, I said I would do a giveaway, and that is still true. I will be giving away that really cute pastel mini backpack. So if you're interested, um, I don't know, anybody who comments on this video qualifies as an entry, and be sure to also put your email address in with your comment so I'll have a way to contact you if you're the winner um I'm not gonna make a big deal out of this giveaway because there was a whole bunch of stuff I wanted to include with the backpack but I guess I was just too late to get to the stores and a lot of the items I wanted was sold out so I'm just giving away the backpack for now there will be other giveaways of different stuff in the future so just hold out for that so if you're interested comment with it with it whatever you want to comment below you can comment on this video and the stuff I talk about in the video but just be sure to leave your email address in with your comment so I will have a way to contact you if you are the winner okay uh, US US subscribers only I won't be mailing any giveaway prizes internationally as of yet so just keep that in mind and while I'm on here chatting, I wanted to show you guys this super cute Carter's Child of Mine set that I just had to have. And I'm pretty sure I mentioned it once before that I usually don't buy complete sets of baby items. Because I always end up not liking something in the set. Like, you'd have a four pack of onesies and I only like one onesie in the whole pack. Like... <laughs> It's just a waste of money. But this particular uh, set, I really liked everything in it. And I actually had the money to buy it. So I did. So I'm just going to put Trevor aside here. 
so you guys can see what I got. So like I said, it's Carter's Child of Mine. They came out with this new um, design where it's heather gray, white, black and white stripes. And the accent color is a really bright lime green. And I just love that. I feel like it's so unique. Like it's a color I don't really see too often in any clothes, whether it's boy or girl. So this is a heather gray onesie. And this is the other onesie underneath. It has like a, a cute dinosaur theme all throughout with the lime green accent. And this is the last onesie, the black and white stripe. And it has like a little pocket with a little dinosaur sticking out, which is so, so cute. And I was so surprised because this was the last set that would fit Trevor. And I was so happy I was able to find it. I usually don't purchase bibs, but you grow to love them, especially the company I work for that designs mostly bibs. So I have started to pay a lot more attention to bib designs and these really caught my eye really cute i love that bright lime green catchy cute phrases and they all match the onesies that i have this one's so cute so i got that and the little sock set my camera's upside down, you guys, trying to film this. So, if you see me moving around trying to get in frame, just ignore that. <laughs> it's so weird. But these are the cute little dino socks. And, oh, there's actually six pair of socks in here. So, we can never have too many socks, which he doesn't really have a whole lot anyway. And last but not least, which is the first thing I saw in this set... And realized that I had to have all the pieces were these adorable little dinosaur claw mittens. I've never seen any little mittens made like this before. Usually mittens are just kind of meh. <laughs> and it's like they don't really put too much effort into them. But I really, really like how they decided to do little dinosaur claws for these mittens. So I had to have them. So that is it in this Carter's Child of Mine little mini haul for Trevor here. And I'm pretty sure when he goes back to work with me, he's going to be wearing those little mittens and one of those little onesies. I brought his clothes to work and left them there so my manager can decide which one of his outfits matches best with the displays. And we'll go from there. I didn't leave them at work overnight because I'm paranoid. <laughs> and they were paranoid too. They didn't want anything to happen to my babies. And I appreciate that. So I'll bring them on Monday and leave them overnight then. That way they'll only just be there for a day or so. And then I can bring them home after the big meeting is over with. So yeah, that is what I have been up to. I've also been up to my artwork commissions. I'm always accepting fine art commissions for marker illustrations and watercolor. So in any spare time when I'm not at work, that is what I am working on also. Um, yeah, I love it. I love sharing my artwork with other people. I love hearing their comments on my pictures. I'll also put in my art Instagram in here if you guys want to check it out. I would love for you guys to check it out. And yeah, that's about it. I hope you all are having a great day. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.